Here comes Paul Scruggs into the front court. Pulls it back out for Nate Johnson. And he drills his first shot of three. And if they are going to have any chance tonight to compete with Xavier, he'll need to have a big game. And now Xavier back-to-back -back triples. Jerome Hunter hasn't mattered thus far. Ball kept alive by Colby Jones. Numbers the other way for Xavier. Johnson decides to take a three. Little size to go up against some of these biggies. SEC teams, Gonzaga. So they, they're trying to fight an uphill battle. How about the Musketeers? A malicious thing is just being competitive. There's Jack Nungy. Come into the game knowing what you wanted to say to certain no, guys? No, no, no. Because I, I would initiate it. I would just finish it. Colby Jones knocks in a three. Here is Adam Kunkel checking into the ball game for the first time. Jones threads it to Nunji. Unique things for this Savior program. You know, last year they played a lot of five out. Steven, well now they've got Jack Nunji and Zach Freeman to Musketeers. Fremantle inside the miles and a chance at a three-point play. Way more than just five guys this year. Yeah, that's, that, that's a great luxury to have. Odom couldn't finish, but right there behind him, Jerome Hunter on the put back on the break. Johnson left wide open, and he'll take it straight to the cup. 12 points. He downs a game in 12 points. And they need to get him the ball more, in my opinion. Glover goes down for DeJuan Odom. Rhythm. They got to get some, a few more stops on this end. And on the double team, he has got to get back to what they were doing and get the ball inside. There it is, right on cue. Since in the first half, that's over 10% better than their season average as Colby Jones knocks in a tough fadeaway. Jones on the backdoor cut from Johnson, and he has been all over it tonight, 16 points. They can contend for a Big East championship. I do think they can be right there. I, I, I think that Villanova is still the class of the league. I think St. John's is much improved. They showed it. Come on now. He <laughs> played six minutes in the first half. Nate Johnson from downtown. In the Centile Center at home. Uh, and Paul Scruggs took over that game down the stretch. Scruggs knocks down a three. Body language is, is showing it as well. He's got a... Right through that, pick up his energy. How about a little finesse from the seven-footer? Nick Anderson's club. I think he's got an outstanding club. They've got some versatility. Uh, and Champagny, he can score with anybody in the country. On the fly in front of 15, 10 or 15,000 people a night. That, those are very unique skill sets. And they take a lot of heat when yeah. things aren't going their way. And the relentlessness defensively. We saw that tonight. They forced 20 turnovers. Every day that he wakes up as the head coach of Providence, he's living his dream. And he has one. And I, it's refreshing to see. Victory. And as we look ahead for the Musketeers, they have a really interesting break to see Xavier handle business again tonight. That's back-to-back -back wins. For Travis Steele and company, and the Musketeers did it in a variety of ways.